Hi, this is Bart Polson of dataliteracy.com, and I want to show you an online calculator I made to help people get through the steps for calculating the variance and the standard deviation. If you're doing it by hand, this can be a very uh, helpful way to check your work. Just go to this uh, web address, j.mp slash var, like variance, dash sd for standard deviation, dash zero one. And when you go there, it's going to take you to a website called Open Processing. Um, the reason for that, by the way, is because this is something that I created using processing. It's a uh, Java-based language that's used a lot for graphical work. Uh, you don't need to deal with that. You just need to find a way to enter the numbers. Now, this is a very quick and simple thing. Um, for instance, you got to separate things by values you can't paste in. And if you make a mistake, you just kind of got to clear it all or refresh the page. But what you can do is you just take your numbers here. So I'll have a 3, 1, a 0 a minus two and a 17. You can enter as many numbers as you want, but you'll only be able to see about 15 in the parts uh, that come after this. So if you wanna be able to check each calculation, you wanna keep it uh, below that. So once you've got your data entered, you hit the check button here, and a new column pops up labeled X, so that's our variable, and it sorts the values and presents them vertically from the uh, largest, which is 17, to the smallest, which is minus two, it also adds decimal places. At the bottom of that, you have the sum of x. So this is 19. The n is the number of scores. There are five. And you take the sum of x divided by n, you get the mean, x bar. It's 3.8. Click the uh, triangle here, the button. And now what you get are deviations from the mean. So you take each score and you subtract the mean. So 17 minus 3.8 is 13.2. 3 minus 3.8 is minus 0.8, and so on. The next step, you click right here, is the square of the deviations from the mean. So 13.2 squared is seven, excuse me, is 174.24 uh, minus 0.8 squared is 0.64, so on. At the bottom is the sum of these numbers. That's actually the sum of square deviations from the mean or the sum of squares, sometimes just called SS. And in this case, it's 230.80. You click this last button here, and what it does is it brings up the population and the sample versions of the variance and the standard deviation. The top one, the sigma squared, is the population variance. So we've got the sum of squared there on the top divided by the n, the number of scores, and so that's going to be 46.16. The next one beneath that is the population standard deviation, and it's just the square root of the variance. So it's just sigma, and we've got that big formula, and it's equal to 6.79. Beneath that is the sample variance. So we go from Greek to a Latin letter. We have S squared for sample variance. And you see the big difference here is instead of divided by N, we divide by N minus 1, which is the degrees of freedom. And we get 57.70. So it's actually substantially larger than the uh, variance on the top for the population. And then the last one is the sample standard deviation here. The symbol is a lowercase s. If you use APA signs, it's SD. And there may be others, but in this case, it's 7.60. Anyhow, when you're done, if you want to do a new data set, you need to refresh the window and you'll be able to type over. Anyhow, I hope that's helpful for helping you do the hand calculations and see the steps that go into the variance and the standard deviation.